What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today I am at the mall. I was gonna do a little shopping um, before I do. I actually came to the outlet mall. Uh, but before I get into all of that, you know, I gotta eat first. So uh, there aren't really many places here to eat or whatever. Uh, as you can see, it's really like just an outlet mall. Y'all can see the mall. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I was just looking to see, you know, if there was a place that had some food or something like that that I can dive into. And uh, I found like a food stand. Those are some of the best places to eat, man. I'm telling you. Most people from up north know that too. That all of the food stands, the one that got, you know, all the good food and stuff. So, I'm gonna head over to this food stand, man, see what they got. Uh, from the looks of it, they got hamburgers and hot dogs, and you know, I'm always good for those. So, I'm gonna head over there now, and give me a little something, man. Um, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit, let you guys know what I got, and you know, put them to the test, man, because that's what I do. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. Forgive me if it's kind of windy out here today. Uh, surprisingly, we don't get much wind this way. So it's really windy out here today. Um, but like I said, you know, I was gonna try me a good burger or something. I went ahead and got a, um, a cheeseburger and an Italian sausage. Um, and the place is called Sidewalk Grill. So I don't know if they're here all the time, um, but it's not too expensive. I mean, $5 for the cheeseburger. I guess when you get to like the Italian sausage, you're paying seven dollars for the Italian sausage. So, um, but I mean, it's, I think it's location. You know what I mean? It's like where they are. You know, you're sitting in front of uh, the mall, so you can kind of add a little bit to it. It's almost like a burger at the fair versus a burger at McDonald's is going to be completely two different prices. You know what I mean? Based on location, so um, and based on uh, activity. So. Uh, like I said, I'll let you guys see, you know, what I got. I did put ketchup and mustard on both, but I kept it simple. I didn't add anything extra, mainly because of how uh, the wind is. You know, it's really, really windy, and I try to keep it um, as least messy as possible because, like I said, I'm still at the mall. I still got some shopping to do, so I, I'm not trying to walk around with the ketchup, mustard, lettuce, pickles all over my shirt. So um, I'm going to let you guys check this out, and then I'm going to jump right into it, guys. All right? as possible um, you know and I, I went ahead and said you know I'll try these two one sausage one burger um, not go crazy and try to get fries or anything like that um, as you can see I'm still here you know and, and they do get people walking up in and out so it's a great location uh, for independent business like that um, you know but uh, I'm gonna try it out see how it is um, and I'll let you guys know so bear with me because like I said it's really windy Cheeseburger on this, I, I wouldn't have paid as much for it. Um, it's a good burger, um, but I do feel like it's a little expensive for based on the taste. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a good burger, but it's it's like you have to really be hungry to say, all right, I'm gonna spend five dollars for it. Uh, you know, I would I would have preferred to be, I guess, a little thicker. The meat is is slightly thin. It's a good burger, guys. You know, uh, if you're ever in the Bureau area, you pass it through the mall. 
because I'm in the Vero uh, Mall outlet right now. So if you're ever in that area, man, come check it out. It's called Sidewalk Grill. You know, grab your little bite to eat, man, on your way. If you're with your family and things like that. Just, you know, enjoy the walk. You know what I mean? Uh, not too heavy doesn't seem like it. I think that's the plus side of it being a little thin and it's not too heavy. So you can still kind of like, you know, walk it off and not be sluggish and tired and things like that. You know what I mean? So um, shout out to Sidewalk Grill for that. Um, but like I said, I, I, I have to be honest and say um, all in all that I have had better burgers, especially based on this price. Um. You know, so I wouldn't technically, um, you know, spend five dollars for a burger uh, like this. But uh, again, I'm not taking away from it. You know, based on the location and things, I'm not surprised at the, at the cost. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, um, you know, one through ten for the burger, I give it a seven. Um, now we're gonna move on to the Italian sausage. Try that out um, and let you guys know how that is as well. All right. I actually got mine on a hoagie bun instead of a hot dog bun just to kind of uh, just to kind of give me that feel like I've got I have more than what I really have um, again this was seven bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out sausage itself is good though it's really good so you can taste it as a real Italian sausage not overcooked so the sausage itself is good but the bread is definitely too hard um, it probably would been better on a hot dog bun so not saying it's a hundred percent that I would blame them for for that but at the same time you offer the hoagie bread then it, you know at least let me know hey the hoagie bun is gonna be a little bit harder I actually would have preferred something soft, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, all in all though, you know, it's still a good, uh, a good Italian sausage. And, uh, but again, for the price, you know what I mean? Like, um, $7, that's, it's, that's steep. So, just for those two, I paid $12, man, that's crazy. Um, I would definitely say that it's overpriced. Um, based on the taste and, and presentation, it's definitely overpriced. I would not pay this much for uh, the Italian sausage and cheese burger. But, again, the whole point is to, uh, you know, test places out, you guys ever in the area. So if you come into the mall, right, let's say you're headed to the Vero Mall and you're hungry, my, be my best advice for you is to stop and get you something to eat before you get here there are not many options and if you're really hungry you're going to take the first option you get which is you know what i end up doing so again you know shout out to uh sidewalk grill for uh being in the right place at the right time <laughs> uh, and like i said you know people like it so it's not like uh, it's, it's bad and people are willing to pay the price because they are hungry and like i said it's a good location because you have kids they're going to see it they're going to want to eat you know and it's only so much you can do when it comes down to telling your kids no right so uh, great business idea, if anything. Let me see if they got any people. So, yep, still got people. So, like I said, it, it, it's working. Uh, but for me, like I said, when it comes down to the Italian sausage, the sausage was really good, but the bread was was definitely too tough. Um, I have to give it a six, and that's only because it's hard for me to really enjoy it when I know I have to continue to try to chew on the bread, and it's going to be tough. So, I would have to give them a six. Um, all in all, I give them a six and a half. Um, Again, based on price, uh, presentation, and taste, I would give them a six and a half. So, again, if you guys are ever in a mall and you forget to get something to eat, you got your kids with you, by all means, stop and get it because the food isn't bad. Uh, but if you do remember to eat before you come, that's probably your better idea um, and definitely your better option. So, um, you're hearing it first from your boy, man. I'm going to finish this up. I don't know about the sausage. I'll probably eat the sausage without the bread, though, at this point. I don't have time to be 
chewing like that. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into that, and then I'm gonna go try to do a little shopping, man. Probably not too much, but, um, you know, just a little bit, you know, I think it's back to school for kids, so, um, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna try to, uh, feed off of those discounts, even if it's just for myself, so, <laughs> um, I'll get back with you guys in a bit, man. It's your boy, it's the girl. Took me a little cruise around so I can relax after that burger. I'm gonna go ahead and go into uh, Polo and see what they got, man. I always like Polo. And uh, I'll get with, back with you guys next time, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out. I am on Tommy Hill figure because Polo was tripping. Let's see what I can find in here. Might give me a little something, a couple shirts, something like that. Hill no, nah, I got I got the grub little watch. Tom, Tom, Tommy can't tell me the time like grub little carry. My nigga. <laughs>